We all know that our oceans are some of the most remote and unexplored places on our planet due to their immense size and vast depths. In recent years, however, due to an increase in our technological abilities, we have started to discover and understand many new species of animals and plant life. Cindy Van Dover, a marine ecologist at Duke University Marine Laboratory in Beaufort, North Carolina, says that those who work in the deep sea have the unique ability to discover strange, never-before-seen species every single time they dive. Here are some of the strangest of these newly discovered creatures. Stay tuned to find out which creatures of the sea can eat food up to 10 times its own size. Number 10. The Yeti Crab The Yeti Crab is a genus of crab that was first discovered in 2005, living in and on hydrothermal vents. This crab is able to live in very deep water and in very harsh conditions. Not an easy feat, especially when you realize that after millennia of evolving in the dark of the deep oceans, it has left this crab completely eyeless. The Yeti Crab gets its name from their hair-like bristles that cover its arms. As food is so scarce in the depths and the conditions that they live in so harsh, they have had to evolve a clever method of survival, one that also could be done by a creature that is completely blind. So they have become farmers of sorts. Crabs of this species actually cultivate, grow, and eat bacteria which grow in the thick bristles on the crab's arms and feed on the inorganic compounds released by the hydrothermal vents that the crab lives on. The crabs eat the bacteria by brushing it off of their bristles with their comb-like mouthpieces. They have somewhat of a symbiotic relationship with their food, as they can be seen waving their arms in the air as a way of ensuring that the bacteria are getting enough oxygen. Not a bad way of surviving in such difficult conditions. Number 9. The Pink See-Through Fantasia This weird-looking creature is a kind of sea cucumber that was only discovered in 2007. The Fantasia is a free-swimming sea cucumber found in the Celebes Sea and living at a depth of around 8,200 feet. It is an echinoderm, meaning that they are related to sea stars and sea urchins. But this species has evolved web swimming structures that enable them to move from the seabed, something no other sea cucumber can do. This odd little creature is completely see-through, meaning that we can see their inner workings of all its internal organs from its stomach right down to its anus. Nice. As this is a relatively new discovery, we still know very little about them. What we do know is that they are bioluminescent, meaning that they can create and emit their own light sources, using this light to scare away potential predators. Number 8. Vampire Squid The vampire squid, known to scientists as Vampirotuthis infernalis, looks like something out of a horror film. In reality, however, they aren't particularly scary. Growing to around 11 inches in length, they are a gelatinous creature, more similar in appearance to a jellyfish than a normal squid. Originally discovered in the early 20th century, it was incorrectly mistaken for an octopus. Found throughout the world in tropical or temperate seas at depths of around 300 to 3,000 feet, they live in the parts of the ocean where light does not penetrate, leaving them with very large eyes. In fact, the vampire squid has the largest eyes, in terms of body ratio, of any animal on the planet, and their eyes can appear either red or blue, adding to their vampire-like appearance. Not much is known about their diet. It is assumed to be mainly prawns and other non-vertebrates, but these vampires, themselves, also seem to be on the dining table for many species of animal life, their beaks being found in the stomachs of seals, whales, and fishes. The main reason that they were mistaken for octopuses when they were first discovered is the skirt-like webbing that joins each one of their eight tentacles. If the vampire squid feels threatened, it will pull its tentacles over its head, encasing itself in a protective webbing of fleshy spines called Siri. I don't think this is related to Siri from your iPhone, though. It's these tooth-like spines and the squid's all-around peculiar looks that gave them their unusual names. Its odd appearance, along with its bioluminescent abilities, are what makes it a truly unusual creature of the deep. Number 7. The Blobfish Found in the waters of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans, at depths of up to 2,800 meters, the blobfish, or fathead sculpins, are a particular odd-looking species of fish. 
These strange-looking creatures are reasonably small, growing to around 12 inches. Living at such depths means that the pressures they encounter can be up to 120 times greater than at sea level. What this has meant to their evolution is that they do not rely on gas bladders for buoyancy like most fish, but rather a gelatinous mass that is slightly less dense than the water around it. It is this lack of a proper skeletal structure that gives us the rather erroneous view of their appearance. Out of the water, they collapse into themselves, causing them to look very strange. But when encountered in the proper habitat, far beneath the ocean waves, they look much more like any other bony fish. Again, due to the depths at which they live, there is little known about the habits of this odd little specimen. We know very little for sure, besides what they eat, which is usually whatever is right in front of them, and tends to be deep sea crustaceans. But as our abilities to explore deeper and deeper continue, I'm sure we'll learn more about them. Number 6. The Black Swallower The Black Swallower has to be one of the more disturbing specimens of fish out there. They are found in depths of the ocean where there is no light at all. For such a small fish, growing to only around 8 inches, they have the appetite of a much larger fish, and an appetite for much larger fish. Somehow, in the complete darkness of the deep oceans, these terrifying fish are able to locate prey, attacking it by biting its head, causing it to suffocate while their teeth are angled inwards to prevent any prey from getting away, and they are eventually able to swallow the fish whole. This ravenous creature can be found across all the world's oceans in areas known as the Mesopelagic and the Bathypelagic zones, which range from 2,300 to 9,000 feet deep. But they will only stay in one place if there is enough food. Let's talk about that incredible stomach though. As a creature of the deep, it's hard to know when your next meal might swim by, so these fish have come up with an ingenious plan. Eat everything! The bigger the better. It is estimated that it can swallow fish up to 10 times its size. That's like you trying to swallow a very large truck. To enable this, its lower jaw sticks out past its upper jaw, with the teeth interlocking once the mouth is closed, meaning that once it latches onto its prey, it's trapped. If, however, it does catch a fish that is too large, they can begin to decompose before they are fully consumed, which can cause the prey to release gases. These gases will cause the black swallower to float towards the surface, eventually killing it. Just like your doctor says, watch what you eat, it might kill you. Number 5. Ocean Sunfish The sunfish, or mola, grow very large in a rounded shape. It's this rounded shape that gives them their name. Mola means millstone in Latin, and, well, the sun is also famously round. Found in temperate and tropical waters, they are often mistaken for sharks when their massive dorsal fins break the surface of the water. Eating small fish and lots of zooplankton, they really prefer jellyfish. But despite their massive size, they are no threat to humans. Although, as they are naturally inquisitive, if you're lucky enough to dive with one, you may find that they want to come and investigate you. They are also the largest bony fish on the planet, growing up to 14 feet in height and 10 feet in length, and weighing as much as 5,000 pounds. As they provide such large surface area, they are prone to parasite infestations, and, like most other large fish, employ teams of smaller fish and even birds to help keep them clean. In some instances, though, they can be seen leaping out of the water in an attempt to rid themselves of their pesky stowaways. Their odd shape means that they are not graceful swimmers and tend to swim in a rather clumsy way. This is not a problem, though, as they are not hunted by many, though they can fall prey to sea lions, killer whales, and sharks. And in some Asian countries, they're considered a delicacy. Number 4. Firefly Squid The firefly squid is called so because its bioluminescent show puts all others to shame. Between March and June each year, thousands of bioluminescent firefly squids come together in a stunning electric blue display that is one of the most eye-catching and colorful marvels on Earth. Not bad for an animal that only grows to 3 inches in length. The show is caused by the spawning of these tiny creatures as they meet in their millions to mate. The brilliant electric blue light is produced by large photophores located in the tentacles and around the eyes of each squid. These lights can serve many purposes, from communicating with a mate or rival to confusing potential predators or disguise its shape. It is also believed that they use their light to lure prey close to them before they pounce. During the day, they live in depths of around 1,200 feet 
and come to the surface to feed at night before returning to the depths. Number 3. The Sarcastic Fringe Head The Sarcastic Fringe Head is a type of tube blenny that lives off the coast of California in the Northeast Pacific Ocean, living in tunnels created by other creatures and, unfortunately, occasionally finding homes in plastic or man-made debris that ends up on the seabed. Female sarcastic fringe heads lay their eggs in the burrows of the male who act as protectors until their eggs hatch. This method of selecting mates based on the perceived ability to protect eggs has driven intense competition between the males. The males of the species put on territorial displays by opening up their huge mouths at one another. The intimidating colors of the mouth, along with its cavernous size, which can be up to four times the size of its closed mouth, enable the larger males to establish dominance over smaller and younger males. They display this incredible orifice by thrusting it close to their rival's open mouths, with the smaller individual usually backing off and leaving the territory without any actual fighting taking place. The little is known of their feeding habits, it is suspected that the larger size of the male's mouths may actually be detrimental to feeding. And I thought I always had a big mouth. Number 2. The Frilled Shark the frilled shark is considered somewhat of a living fossil and is one of the most uncommonly seen sharks as it lives so far down, 160 to 5,000 feet deep in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It gets its name from its long red-lined gills. Its large mouth holds 25 rows of up to 300 razor-sharp teeth. Living on a diet of squid, cuttlefish, octopus, and other sharks, its long, flexible jaws means it can swallow its prey whole. Looking more like an eel than a shark, this long shark grows to a length of six and a half feet. It is thought that they may strike its prey in much the same way as a snake strikes theirs. Number 1. Red-Lipped Batfish With red lips and fins that are made for walking along the seafloor, the red-lipped batfish is a truly odd sight. Found off the coast of the Galapagos Islands, it looks very unfish-like. Its pectoral and pelvic fins have become shaped in such a way that the fish is able to rest and sometimes move around while supported by them. Red-lipped batfish are a type of anglerfish that use built-in fishing rods on their snout to lure their prey close to their mouths. Living in deeper waters, around 100 feet, they live on small fish, mollusks, and crustaceans such as shrimps and crabs. It seems that there are no end to weird and wonderful creatures lurking in the depths of our oceans, each more intriguing and interesting than the next. What is your favorite or strangest sea creature? Let us know down in the comments section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.